winner of this year's Nordic Energy Challenge 2021. Thanks a lot. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Of course, uh, when I got to know uh, that I am going to be the winner amongst all the uh, very interesting uh, participants and finalists who were there, so uh, it's always a great recognition. And uh, and and uh, and for me, this recognition, I had a complex set of thoughts going on. A excitement, of course, to be recognized on a, one of the important energy-related prices in the Nordic region is already a great thing. But it also, it comes with great responsibility because you wanted to do more of these things and create impact in the region. And being an uh, being a Swiss of Indian origin in the Nordic context, having a company in Finland and representing a Nordic enterprise uh, is already a great, great complexity in itself. It comes with a great sense of responsibility and a great sense of gratitude. I'm really thankful for that. Thank you. Of course, when you talk about renewable energy, it is already the resources are decentralized. My daughter asked a lot of questions about uh, uh, climate change and all those things. From For her age, to explain this in a simple term, why this award, what this award means, how does it contribute to the nature, how does it contribute to the environment, was a great thing because they are going to be the future and they are going to be the, the, the decision makers and, 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 and uh, policy makers and, 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 and impact creators in the future. So explaining to them right from the right small age is important. What is climate change? What is uh, you know, carbon emission? Why it is bad and so on and so forth. So for me, it was like putting everything boiling down to the to the essential and explaining them. That was really fun. First one is how to systematically reduce the, the overcapacity in the fossil fuel driven vehicles. Second one is how to integrate the energy and transport sectors uh, assets and resources together. And of course, the last one is on the different levels of mapping. This is going to be a kind of an internet of transport uh, and in a scale, uh, uh, the orchestration, the digital orchestration, which has never been done before. And that is what we need to achieve at the Nordic context. So I think uh, if we talk about this Nordic Energy Challenge, this is one of the most important uh, energy related uh, platforms and energy related prices given for impact creators. So I think for uh, industrialists, entrepreneurs, researchers who are in the energy space who wanted to create that impact, I think this is a very, very important platform and recognition. So in, from that point of view, I think I encourage uh, a lot of people in the, in the industry, a lot of people from, from academia, a lot of people from research institutions to come forward. 